begin with your warm up in your composition book. In here, you are going to place quantity A values for the quantity A section and then determine how much B is worth and vice versa. So I'm going to show you one example. I will do the 55 at the very end for quantity B. There are five slots to put values in. So we're going to split 55 into five parts, which tells us that 11 goes in each one. And that means that quantity A is worth 11 as well. So you are going to fill in the rest of the table in your composition book for lesson 11. Here it says, Yuna gives some of her gold coins to Julie. They are playing a game involving gold coins. And before the game, this is the ratio for Yuna and Julie. And then after, you can see Yuna gave some of her coins to Julie. And this is the new ratio. Our goal is to figure out how many gold coins Yuna gave to Julie. Now we can tell here that she had three before and now she has five so she got two extra but that doesn't tell us she got two extra coins that just tells us that the ratio piece changed by two there so in order to determine how many coins she gave we need some more information in this slide it tells us that the total number of coins before and after the game was 90. So we have 90 split amongst 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 boxes. If we split 90 into 10 parts, remember they are equal sized boxes, that means 9 goes in each one. And since the number of coins before and after is 90 in both cases, 9 also goes in each box in the after section. So before, 9 times 3 is 27. And over here, 9 times 5 is 45. We also discussed how there were two extra boxes. So we can say that Yuna gave Julie 18 coins because 9 plus 9 is 18, or you can subtract 45 and 27 and get 18. This is in your book. Kelly has two gardens that each have an area of 40 square feet. He plants tomato seeds in one garden and green bean seeds in the other. He plants one tomato seed for every eight square feet of garden area, and he plants one green bean seed for every two square feet of garden area. Kelly plants the greatest number of seeds he can in each garden. What is the total number of seeds, tomato seeds, Kelly plants? So we have one for every eight square feet. So if I were to draw eight boxes, and we know that the square feet is 40 in each garden. 40 split into eight parts would be five. And we know that he planted one tomato seed for every eight square feet. So five goes in each box. The total number of tomato seeds he plants, five tomato seeds. Now we're going to look at how many green bean seeds he plants. He plants one green bean seed for every two square feet. And we know that the square feet in the garden is 40. Well, 40 split into two parts is 20. So he plants 20 green bean seeds. What is the ratio of the total number of tomato seeds to the total number of green bean seeds? 
This can be written as 5 to 20, or we can reduce it to 1 to 4, because 1 times 5 is 5, and 4 times 5 is 20. In number two, it says the art teacher's favorite paint color is a mixture of yellow, blue, and white paints. The mixture has two parts yellow for every three parts blue. So two parts yellow and three parts blue. It has three parts blue paint for every five parts of white paint. If a teacher uses eight jars of yellow paint, how many jars of white paint does he use? If the yellow is eight and the yellow gets split into two parts, that should be four in every box. So the white paint has to be four, eight, 12, 16, 20 jars. Number three, the ratio of the number of stickers in bag A to the number of stickers in bag B is four to three. Half of the stickers in bag A are moved to bag B. What is the new ratio of the number of stickers in bag A to the number of stickers in bag B? I like to split it up into two scenarios. I have the before and I have the after. So before I had bag A and bag B and after I also have bag A and bag B. Before we had a ratio of four to three. Try and keep your boxes around the same size. Half of the stickers in bag A are moved to bag B. Well, if I split this in half, that would mean two of them have to get moved. So now I have two here, and I have five for bag B. Like you can see here. These two got moved down, so now there are five here. So what is the new ratio of the number of stickers in bag A to the number of stickers in bag B? This ratio is two to five. Noah mixes seven parts yellow paint for every three parts blue to make green paint. So let's start with yellow. We should have seven parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For every three parts of blue. He adds 12 pints of blue paint to the mixture. Now the number of parts of yellow paint is equal to the number of parts of blue paint. He adds 12 pints of blue paint to the mixture. Now the number of ye yellow paint is equal to the number of parts of blue paint. How many pints of green paint did Noah have before adding more blue paint? So we need the parts to be the same. So he's gonna add four more parts to the blue. And in those four parts, that makes up 12 pints. If we split those 12 pints up into the four different sections, that gives us three in each one. Now, keep in mind, they have to be equal. It asks, how many pints of green paint did Noah have before adding more blue paint? So we're gonna ignore the extra blue paint and figure out how much paint he had before. Remember, he mixed the yellow and the blue to make green. 
So we are going to combine those. Here I have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. And here we had 3, 6, 9. So for the green, 21 plus 9 equals 30 pints of green paint. Here we can see that we started with seven yellow and three blue. They added four more blue boxes to make them the same. Those four were made up by 12 pints. So three goes in each one for a total of 30 pints of green paint. In class, we are going to work on some stations. And so in the digital lesson, we won't be completing those stations together. As a way to check your understanding, you can complete some of the practice problems in the lesson, in the practice section, or you can work on the exit ticket. So you have a, a question that you can try on your own to see if you understand it. Make sure your workbook is filled in, your warm-up is complete, and that's all.